At this point, you probably have a lot of value in NFTs on your MetaMask wallet. Chances are you are not as secure as you should be. Today, we're gonna discuss three tips you need to know to keep your NFT assets safe. Shout out to DeFi Dad for all the tips on today's video. Definitely go check him out on his Twitter site. I will post it right down below. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Tip number one, always a no-brainer tip in crypto. Never give away your private keys. Someone could steal all of your stuff if they have access to your private keys. Tip number two, never blindly trust the front end without checking the URL. Two things you wanna look for, at SOS website, theopendow.com. We're gonna use this as an example for today's video. You'll see there's a little secure lock here. This means it is an HTTPS website. This is more secure. It doesn't mean that this website doesn't have nefarious activity, but it's one thing we're looking for. Also, always double check the URL address, URL address so that you know you're at the site you intend to be at. Sometimes you can click a link, it redirects you to a different site, and they might have the same looking front end, but you have to check the URL to make sure it is the correct site. And tip number three, there are two websites you should know about to revoke privileges after you've interacted with a Web 3.0 website. One of them here, DeFi Dad mentions, is called tac.dapstar.io. I pulled it up here after you connect to the website. Of course, check that there's a little lock here to make sure it's the correct website. After you connect to the website, it will show you the different allowances on your wallet. And in order to be safe, you'll actually want to revoke these unlimited approval privileges and change that to zero. And so it's recommended to remove the unlimited approvals in the allowance category. I believe this costs a small gas fee, so be mindful of that. So if I wanted to edit allowance, come over here and change the allowance to zero, set allowance, then it's going to bring up a MetaMask notification. It's gonna ask me to pay a very small gas fee to make that happen. That's one way. Option number two is revoke.cash. So if you connect to this website, revoke.cash, I'll connect on my web 3.0, choose the correct wallet, connect. It will pull up all the different websites that you've already given permissions to. So it's finding the different websites and you'll see that I don't have any for ERC-20. And then for ERC-721, you'll see that I have several. So you can come down here and you can revoke different access points uh, here manually on revoke.cash. All right, so in summary, the three tips. Tip number one, never give out your private keys to anyone. Tip number two, always check the URL and check the little lock next to the URL to make sure that you have the correct website that you're looking for. Sometimes there are false front websites that are built around a phony link, you wanna be mindful that you're connecting to the correct address. And tip number three was two websites, tac.dapstar.io. You can go and set allowance privileges to zero. And the other website was revoke.cash, which you can go in and check your current allowances and remove them manually there as well. I hope these are some good tips that you can implement to keep your assets safe. Let me know if you have any other strategies that you employ. Drop them down in the comments below. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week.